Good evening and welcome to ATV News. I'm Charity Pepizani with your top stories this Wednesday. A drink driving Zimbabwean who killed an aspiring model when driving the wrong way along a British motorway has been jailed for eight years. 20-year-old Rebecca Kane from Leeds died from multiple injuries after the head-on collusion in Greater Manchester on September 16. Zimbabwean-born Wilfred Moseka pleaded guilty to causing death by dangerous driving at an earlier hearing at Manchester Minshall Street Crown Court. The 31-year-old, who gained political asylum after arriving in the UK in 2000, had been to a family party in Manchester. He was arrested and found to be twice over the drink drive limit. In Zimbabwe, a High Court judge released two MDCT youth leaders on bail set at $500 US each, Solomon Mazore and Lavmo Tarivinga, who had been detained for 14 months over the killing of a police officer, were released under strict bail condition by Chinembori Honu. Inspector Petros Mutiza was allegedly stoned to death in April 2001 while trying to disperse 31 MDCT youth who had gathered for an illegal meeting in Glenview 3. The body of a 28-year-old Zambian national has been found in a river in the Czech Republic. The Czech police believe that Malitela Sikwebele committed suicide on November 6, 2012. His body was found with a bag containing rocks strapped to it. Sikwebele went to the Czech Republic in 2005 to further his studies after he was awarded a medical scholarship. According to Yvonne Shibemba, first secretary at the Zambian embassy in Germany, family members of the deceased have been informed the investigation by Czech police is still ongoing. <laughs> Now it's a time to meet another aspiring music artist. We're always trying to promote African artists on ATV, whether they're working in Africa or around the world. Derek Maposa is a gospel singer originally from Zimbabwe who lives and works in Manchester, England. He's got a new album, Sovereign God. Thank you for joining us, Derek. Could you tell us a bit about your album? Thank you, Charity, for having me on your program today. Um, I've got, as you just said, I've got a new album, Sovereign God, and it's available now for sale, and it's a beautiful album, and I love this album, and I hope it will bless somebody when, once you get hold of it. And um, the so um, Sovereign God is an album that has got a message that uh, aims to remind people that God is in control. God is totally in control of everything. He's above everything. He's behind everything. He is in control of every situation. He's just, this is it's all about the totality of God. That God, even whatever you think, but if you give it to the sovereign God who is above everything, everything is going to be okay. So, why did you choose Sovereign God for a music video? Like I said, Sovereign God, the album is all about the sovereignty of God and it is what was going to be appropriate for me to use Sovereign God as a, for a video to spread the message that I'm bringing to people that God is in control. So I had to take Sovereign God. One, I love this song. Two, it's a bit out of my comfort zone. Normally I do the African type of music, but this time I challenge myself to do some some other style, some rock, a little bit of rock, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of uh, Western music, so that at least I reach out to people that follow me again in England, since I live in England now. Um, Derek, does your Zimbabwean background influence the music that you create? Yes, it does, yes, a lot, yes. If you look at my album, it's got uh, about four English songs, five English songs, and the rest are um, Andebele and Zulu. And then Debel and Zulu, which is from Zimbabwe and South Africa. And we've got also Shona and Dina Jesu, which is a Shona song that also relates to Zimbabwe. And Hamba No Jesu is in, a South African beat. It's more like a quiet house music. 
for the young ones also to be involved. I would try to do with the Sovereign God, it's about every, the totality of everything. So I have young people catered for, I've got uh, old age catered for, and I've got every person, English speaking, Shona speaking, Devela speaking. Some people don't speak any of those languages, but they can relate to the, to the beats. Like if you look at Joy, it's got a, a salsa and a Carib, a, more like a Brazilian flavor. So you can also relate to that even if you don't speak any of the languages that are used in the album. So what are your aspirations for the future as a musician and what do you hope to achieve? My, my very first thing, I want to spread the news, the gospel. I'm an only not a gospel artist, but I also preach the word of God. I'm also involved with youth projects. I'm also involved with the encouraging people. I'm also a public speaker. I also preach in churches. That's what I do. So my, mess, my, my whole thing is to send the message to people through music that I can, people that I cannot reach through the pulpit, I can reach them through the music. And again, as, a, as a, I grow up with my music, I want to also have my own label and promote new artists coming because I've seen that they struggle so much. The struggle that I had to finally come up with albums, I know that's what other people have struggling with so i'm trying to go down there and look at those people that want to do the same thing in the long run and help them get to where they're supposed to be and finally derek are you holding any concerts for the christmas period yes yeah, starting with november 17 we've got a concert coming it's called the highest praises in Banley. Uh, I'm going to be singing there one of the songs, Sovereign God. I'm going to be performing it live. So those that want and around the northern region in Manchester, please make your way, even if you're in London, make your way. This is going to be a, off the hook. That's what they say these days. It's going to be sick. That's what the youngsters say. So please make your way there. It's going to be live music. I'm going to be performing like I've never done before. This is my first time to perform it live after uh, releasing it, so I'll be giving my best. And again on the 8th, we, I'm going to be involved with the Help Us Help Ourselves uh, charity concert that has been organized by Steffi Chiangwa and Lady Bima and the crew. It's going to be in Manchester on the 8th. I think that's the one I'm going to be involved in, Manchester and um, Methodist Hall. So I'm going to be performing again live there. So if people in Manchester, if you want to see Sovereign God perform live, if you want to see my footwork, oh my God, I can dance for the Lord. This is what I'm going to be doing. And this is what you come and expecting and be blessed. Mm. Zimbabwean entertainment news, well-known singer Alec Macheso told the Zim diaspora that he would kill anyone found selling two songs he recorded at a recent show. He said piracy shortchanged fans who were buying unfinished products. Macheso said he heard on his recent return from the United Kingdom that the pirated copies of the two unreleased songs were being sold on the streets. The angry singer said he was forced to change the lineup of songs on his upcoming CD because of piracy. Macheso has promised to deal heavily with anyone found pirating Zimbabwean music. And now here's Liam with the latest sports news. Thank you very much Charity. Here's your sports news. Firstly to Zimbabwe and the Castle Lager Premier League. Highlanders go into their game against FC Platinum today, knowing that only a win will keep them in the chase for the league, going into the final games of the season. The Bulawayo side are two points behind their rivals Dynamos, who currently sit at the top of the league. But crucially, Dynamos have a superior goal difference than Highlanders. Dynamos themselves will play their game against Buffaloes at Rafaru, under a dark cloud after the death of founding member and board member Richard Chiminia. Chiminia's burial is scheduled for this Thursday. To Zambia now, and national team captain Chris Katongo believes that when his side meets South Africa in Johannesburg tonight, the pressure will be on the hosts. The two teams are facing off in the Nelson Mandela Challenge Cup, 
and Katongo thinks that South African players feel they have to prove themselves to their coach ahead of the Cup of Nations tournament, which is to be held in South Africa in January. The 30-year-old has a lot of reasons to be confident after captaining his Zambia side to glory in last year's Cup of Nations, where he himself was the player of the tournament. He also scored a hat-trick when the two sides last met in 2007. Now, speaking of the Cup of Nations, referees who will be officiating at January's tournament will be kept away from the public during the tournament itself. This is in a bid to avoid match-fixing. Similar security measures were used at the World Cup in 2012, which was also held in South Africa. The measures will please fans who have been troubled by the Asia Gate scandal, which has seen many Zimbabwean players and officials suspended for match-fixing. Finally, the Ghana Football Association has congratulated striker Abdul Waris for being named the Swedish Premier League's Player of the Year. The 21-year-old scored an impressive 23 goals in 29 games for Swedish side Hakan last season before moving to Russian club Spartak Moscow. At a team meeting in Portugal, where Ghana are preparing to play Cape Verde on Wednesday, GFA president Kwezi Nyantaki was full of praise for Waris. He said that the achievements of striker Waris have brought honour to the country. And that's all your sport for today. It's back to you, Charity. It is picture of the daytime, and today's winner comes from More Blessing Dube Mambore. She says she loves her school and ATV. Why not send us your best pictures and you could feature on tomorrow's program? Thank you for tuning in to ATV News and have a pleasant evening.